Tonight, we find ourselves on the eve of another Christmas, and this year we seem closer to a breakthrough that will mean an awakening of the global population than we have ever been before. Now, I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The pound buys a penny's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers would like to keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street. And there's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do. And there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe and our food is unfit to eat. And we sit watching our TVs while some local newsreader tells us that today we had 15 murders and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy. So we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house and slowly the world we are living in is getting smaller. And all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel belted radials. And I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to riot. I don't want you to write to your MP because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the terrorists and the crime in the street. All I know is that first you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being, God damn it. My life has value. So I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to go up right now and go to the window, open it, stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore. Things have got to change. But first you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore. Then we'll figure out what to do about the depression and the inflation and the oil crisis. But before that, yes, please stay in your chairs. Find out what really happened in the last 12 months. And of course, they would do that. No wouldn't about it as we go on the edge.